What's interesting about Decon Plus, and, and this is where we really separate ourselves from a lot of different applications, is that we're focused on developing something that will eventually replace or sunset a legacy system that already exists has a lot of limitations on the hardware side and it's running into problems for the laser community. Being able to, to port that application to modern technology is a big standout feature. So we're, we're, we're modernizing not only the technology but also the processes around developing software and delivering that to our users. So what that means and why we stand out in this arena is that we're developing best practices for agile replacement of a legacy system. Operational acceptance takes anywhere from one month to six months. How do you do that when you're agile? How do you do that when you're trying to push code deployments to operations every three weeks and three weeks sprint cycles? So that's something that we're doing that's, that's really innovative. The way our product team works is we have a balanced team, which means that our product manager, our anchor developer, and our lead designer get together to organize the priorities for a sprint. Each sprint involves a stage where we plan out what we're gonna do for that. We call it a, an iteration. We plan out and select certain user stories and we try to estimate if that's something that can be done within a three week cycle. It goes through the pipeline, it's checked for security, and then we move on to the next story. And with Platform One, we get a continuous ATO. That lets us go through a different process that manages all the appropriate security controls, but allows the app development teams to field the application and the capabilities much faster. So another benefit to Platform One and developing an application there is the ability to deploy the application to multiple security classification networks. All of the code that we're writing for Decon Plus is unclassified, but the data that is used in the app can be at different classifications, including a secret and TSSCI. And so uh, using Platform One, we're able to write the code once and then deploy that to different networks so that our users can use the application at the appropriate classification for the job that they're doing. And the fact that uh, Decon Plus is cloud-based is also a huge help. We're able to get updates streamlined instantly versus before it took forever. We're still working on updates from 2018 just taking forever and it's 2022. Part of modernizing this legacy app is moving the app off of an on-prem or custom hardware solution. Part of what we bring working with Platform One is to be able to deploy the app to the cloud. Our customer has had, I'll say, struggles with <laughs> being able to procure and maintain hardware, servers, the operating system, security patches, and all of that. So using Platform One, using the cloud resources, and be able to focus on the app and not so much the infrastructure behind it. Being agile has definitely been a huge learning curve for the DoD as well, but it's definitely the future and where we need to be going with this, because otherwise updates just aren't happening fast enough. We're pushing releases every three weeks. We're getting stuff through the pipeline a lot faster. We're meeting those user needs much more quickly. So from my perspective as the PM, delivery is the number one important thing for my job. My job is to get a product into the hands of users. With all the different layers um, of government deployments and, and software and hardware, being able to deploy quickly, so if we do a feature update or we have user discovery, have some bugs or anything we want to improve, being able to push that up to operations and have the users utilize that particular feature, it is paramount to the success of this application. And and having a CATO or continuous authority to operate and a certificate to field CTF allows us to figure out all of the cyber requirements for our application and it continues to allow us to update security requirements. When a patch comes out we can go ahead and implement that. Being able to have that already up and running on the application, I don't have to stop production because we're waiting on cyber to approve something. It's already been approved. Anytime we do an architecture update, we can get a new CTF. It's something that is embedded into the cost of admission with Platform One. We don't expect our product to stop work in order to iron out all of those details. We can just keep deploying, keep deploying, keep deploying. Decon is a huge mission that a lot of people probably don't really realize it's affecting us on day to day. If we launch a test laser and we hit a Russian or Chinese satellite, that's not good news. So 
it's really important that this stuff is operating effectively and efficiently and correctly. And make sure that we're doing that is important to our national security and world security. DECON Plus is replacing a legacy system that has some very intricate algorithms. DECON Plus needs to be able to calculate the position of various satellites and ensure that a laser pointing in a particular direction doesn't have the potential to damage that satellite. And so it is the SPO and the operators are obviously very concerned that the math behind that, behind those algorithms is correct and that it's giving the right answers. The process to do that is called NumVal or numeric validation. Traditionally, that is a very labor intensive process that involves basically re-implementing the algorithms in a different analytical environment and then being able to compare the results. And what we're pushing forward with Decon Plus is an automated NumVal solution where we will capture truth data based on a certain set of inputs and corresponding outputs for different scenarios that exercise the code in different ways. Once we have built this library of truth data that shows these are the inputs and the corresponding outputs, we plan to put those into the CICD pipeline and run those every time the code is changed, every time there's a commit, every time we merge it into master, so that we know we're not changing the output of those algorithms and we know that they're still correct. The laser community is currently using a lot of document-based, file-based systems in their workflows. And DCOM Plus really takes a lot of that, digitalizes it, and streamlines the communication between the laser clearinghouse, uh, which is the authorizing community, and the laser owner operators, which are the people that need to be submitting the documents back and forth. Just streamlining those communication channels, streamlining the digitalization of the documents, and just making everything much more seamless. What I like about being part of Space Camp and Decom Plus Project is that I feel like I'm at the spear at the front of innovation and that's really cool where you feel like you're actually accomplishing something versus some of these projects take so long that you leave before you end up actually seeing anything happen with it so it's cool being part of it and actually seeing changes happen while you're still here a place where space camp can actually comes in like we we do it really well because we we've built out those relationships talking with the one test squadron or doing operational testing or even talking with the OA authorities. We're good at it because we've done it before. And I think that's where Basecamp could come in and do introductions and kind of facilitate the process because we, we know what the, that process looks like. The laser community is is pretty big. It's, it's insular in that certain groups of people are going to utilize this technology and these workflows. It's big. Um, laser owners could range anywhere from a university to uh, a military organization. And our application needs to be able to de-conflict a specific day and time where that laser owner can shoot their laser up into space successfully and not hit anything. So that's the goal. And because of the fact that we have so many different organizations that are represented utilizing this application, we want to provide our users with optimized processes. From the start of deciding, I want to fire my laser into space, to I did fire my laser into space, <laughs> we want to make sure that entire community is captured by this particular product. Because it's cloud-based, people can log into that application from a variety of different locations. Our biggest focus in regards to optimizing processes for our user community is user engagement, user discovery, being able to sit down and actually talk to someone who is firing the laser, being able to sit down and talk to people who are responsible for the calculations of that open and closure window, actually understanding, well, what do you do in your day? What, where are your focus areas? What do you care about? And how can we try to optimize that? I think that's the biggest thing that we do on DECOM Plus is actually involving the entire community in the success of this product. DECOM Plus has gotten a lot of buzz. It's worked its way up to the general level, which has been good for us. We also had laser owner operators coming out and expressing interest and wanting to work with us and continue to work with us and Space Camp as well. So that's been good to have the laser owner operator side because they're the ones actually using the product. So it helps so much more to get the exact product that we need out.